Hello everyone, my name is Rodion. Today I'm going to show you how to filter data in an SQL query using a report variable. In addition, I will show you how to use request parameters and retrieve only used data. Open a report and click the preview to show it. For example, your report contains two independent lists with categories and products. Different data sources are used for these lists. First of all, I'm going to filter data of categories in its data source. Go to the dictionary, select categories and enable the data source editor. Create parameter object and define a value for it. Define filtering expression in the query. Please note that in this example I'm using name parameters because my SQL database support them. Click OK button in the editor and click the preview to show your report. Now categories list is filtered. Change parameter expression to get the category you want to. After parameter is added to the query, this object will be displayed in the dictionary. You can edit. Select parameter and click the edit button to enable the parameter editor. Since product list uses other data sources, to filter this list you should add the parameter to the query of products. Next, click the preview to show the report. Now, category and product lists are filtered. But if you want to change filter value, you should edit both parameters in data sources. You can create a report variable and use it in the parameter expression. In this case, it's enough to change only variable value to change parameter values in all queries of the data sources where the variable is used. Besides, you can use a report variable in the query without parameter object. To do this, you should enable the variable editor and set a low using a SQL parameter option. After that, you should define a variable name in query text instead of the name of the parameter object. If you use report variable as SQL parameter in a query, you can enable the mode of request values from user to give an ability to change filter value in the viewer. You should enable the variable editor and set the request from user parameter. For this example, I am adding a list of filter values. Next, click the preview to show your report. You can change filter value when you view the report. A selected value will be applied as filter value after you click the submit button. When the request from user mode is used in a variable, you can define the mode of request parameters when your report is open in the viewer. The parameter values can be initialized by default or a selected user and initialized in the query after submit button is clicked. If you want to initialize parameter in the query after user selection and when the submit button is clicked, you should set the request parameter property of the report template to true. In this case, the query will not be run and your report will not be rendered till the user is not clicked by the submit button.
By default, when a report is loaded to the viewer or you click the submit button, the engine will run a query for each data source, which is created in the dictionary. Sometimes it may increase in rendering time, since the dictionary may contain more data sources than it's needed to render a report. Accordingly, the engine should execute and process each query. But you can optimize this process and request only used in the report data sources. To do this, you should select report template area and set the retrieve only use data source property to true. Now the engine is executing only the queries of data sources which are crucial to render this report. Thanks for watching. Follow news on our social networks and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you still have any questions, leave your comments below or send us a request to support estomsa.com. Have a good one. All the best to you.